Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new horror film, Cold Blows the Wind. And this is a small, budgeted, very claustrophobic, small-scale horror mystery that focuses on a couple who wound up killing a jogger after hitting him and burying the body. And then a mysterious individual shows up at their home, and things get weird from there. And you can tell this movie had some basic ideas being set up at the beginning. You're never quite sure exactly where it's going, which I'll give this film credit for that. It always keeps you on your toes. There's a sense of mystery. It just feels like it's not enough to keep it going at an engaging pace. There's times where you're just like, okay, this is kind of screeched to a halt and you're waiting to see what's coming next, there seems to be some, a few threads that just feel extraneous. They don't feel like they add much to the film, and they kind of just feel like they're there to add potential layers of intrigue and to pad the runtime. But in terms of, like, the actual story, what, why, what is going on in this film has been done before. It's... I don't want to give away anything specifically about it, but there's been other films, especially in the past 10 years or so, that have taken a specific idea of what this film is trying to get at, and certainly have done it better. Some of the performances are not very con convincing. There's a couple moments where you're supposed to be fearing, feeling fear, and you're just looking at the actor doing a particular thing and it looked funnier than it looked scary or like it was going to send a chill down your spine. This film opens in particular with a really eerie setup. The first like minute and just setting up this atmosphere but also sets a tone that anytime music comes in it is so much louder than everything else to the point where it's just it completely takes you out of the film anytime it shows up because how awkward the sound mixing is and it's just going for obnoxious jump scares at that point and they don't feel as effective because all you're experiencing is just loud and in terms of there's some good ideas here there's some interesting threads that are weaved in here and you know it has some relationship issues and toxic relationships and how navigating those things doesn't do them with a lot of depth. Like, the two main characters that we're saddled with throughout this film, it's just, like, they're honestly annoying. And, like, you're just like, why are they together? Why are we spending time with them? And you never really connect. Like, the woman in the relationship is more to an extent we can connect with, but the male character is just so abrasive and... You're just like, now, nah, just, I want to spend time with you. And it's one of those kinds of things where it's like, it's hard to find a place to really, like, latch on and build a connection here. So by the end of the film, you're just like, did I care what happened to anybody here? And to be perfectly honest, not really. And that's a shame. Because we spend an hour and 24 minutes with some of these characters, and you're just like, by the end kind of better off and it opens the door to continue the cycle that's introduced in this film setting it up for potential sequels and stuff like that and by the end just kind of like not very satisfied not really interesting there's some interesting moments in terms of practical effects and what they can do with such a low budget and there's other times where it's so obvious that what they're using to replace like human limbs and stuff like that you're just like mm, you shouldn't have shown it that close up and personal and that's another thing about this film is it goes out of its way to try to gross you out what it feels like just for the sake of grossing you out and it doesn't really accomplish much of anything of depth there. But in the end, this is not so great. It has some potential, it has some pieces there, just never really comes together and delivers 
the horror and the thrills that it's trying to do, the suspense that it's trying to build. But those are my thoughts on Cold Blows the Wind. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.